Hi everyone, welcome to Vintage Variety. Today I am giving a tour of my dresser top and some of the things that I have collected over the years. The main thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about today are these. These are antique jewelry caskets. They were manufactured in the United States between 1900 and 1925. They are made of a cast metal and then coated in either a silver, gold, brass, or white finished, also known as ivory. This one that you guys see here, this is not vintage. Um, this is just one that I found somewhere and I felt like it fit in so well with them that it's just sitting here. You'll notice that many of these have a Art Nouveau motif on them and that's due to the time in which they were manufactured. Also, um, many of them have a floral motif. Flowers were very popular with the Victorians. They used different flowers to express themselves. Um, also known as the language of flowers. So let's start with this one. Give you guys a really good look at it. This one has quite a bit of wear. You can see some of the coating has come off of this box. Let me zoom in on it. Get closer so you guys can see the motif that's on it. See all the flowy lines, which is indicative of the Art Nouveau era. Most of these were lined with um, silk or velvet. You can see I have a little fur clip stored down in there. And as you can see, um, the lining's long gone of this one disintegrated see where some of the finish is chipped off on this. I'm very careful with it because of that. Flip it over. This was manufactured by N.B. Rogers. And here's one of my larger ones. Also has a floral Art Nouveau motif on it. I'm guessing at some time or the other this lining was replaced. It looks too new. One thing about these is you would think um, they would be pretty sturdy considering that they're cast out of metal, but they are not. If you drop one of these, it will damage it. Um, the lids can break off. They're hinged on here. I have one where the lid has broken off. And I'll get to that one in a minute. This one has a beautiful Art Nouveau lady on it. B and W. You see the inside of this one. It was pink. It's disintegrated pretty much. JB930 on the bottom of this one. 
Again, I'm guessing someone has replaced the inside of this one sometime or the other. This one was a souvenir. And this is from Brooklyn Bridge, New York. This one has not held up well over time. As you can see, this one has the broken lid. Completely snapped off. Let me zoom in so you can see that. And here's this one. My collection was a little larger than this. Um, I have gifted three of these over the years. One to, this one says Rogers. One to my sister and also have given one to my daughter and my daughter-in-law. The reason these are called jewelry caskets, by the way, instead of jewelry boxes or trinket boxes, um, I had read somewhere that casket originally meant something where you stored a treasured item, such as your jewels or maybe your money. Um, and that kind of makes sense if you think about during the Victorian, Victorian era, for example, and even before that, the mortality rate was so high, especially for infants and children. And um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the article I had read said something along the lines that that was how um, people began calling coffins caskets because they were putting something that was greatly treasured and valuable into them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the other items that I have on my dresser. This is a 1920s Art Deco ladies dresser set. The little jars, these have the screw on lids and these have the lids that just come off. This is a brush, not one that I would use, but still. <laughs> and then we have mirror, you can see me recording. And this is the glass tray, it has a similar motif on it. Isn't that pretty? And I do keep things, I have some jewelry in this one. Um, I have my spare change in that one. I also have a nail file. Other thing that I have sitting on my dresser, these are lady head faces. Um, I'll accept this one. Um, she is cute though, isn't she? But these are lady head faces. I also have a collection of these um, stored about in my bedroom and for decor. The first one that I ever collected was given to me by my mother. And she told me that back in the day, um, people got these from florists and they would come with flowers in them. You can also do a video on those if you guys are interested. I do have a book on them and they are collectible. There are quite a few people that collect them. So if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. This is not vintage. This is just a ceramic, I guess, compote decorative type thing that I found at a thrift store 
and I use it to store my vintage costume jewelry in. It's a pearls. And this is a vintage pressed glass tray. Um, this is really more of something that you would use as a serving dish. And these are pretty easy to find when you're out thrifting. I've seen them in a lot of different thrift stores. My mother had one similar to this that she would use during Thanksgiving um, for the cranberry sauce. But this is a cute little tray for serving condiments or just about anything. However, I really like the idea of taking things that are pretty and vintage and using them for a different purpose. And that's what I've done with this tray. I use it to set my perfumes on. And then I have these trinket boxes over here, and these are not vintage, but they do come in handy for storing um, some of my pieces of jewelry. I do collect vintage and antique jewelry, so I have quite a collection. And then over here, this is a milk glass compote. I also have a collection of milk glass I love love, love milk glass. My mother gave me some of my first pieces and they are pieces that originally belonged to her probably back in the, maybe the 50s or 60s. And I just thought it was really pretty to take this and store some more of my faux pearls in it. One more thing that I was going to mention about the jewelry caskets is that there is a book on these, and I'm gonna show you guys the book. It's called The Jewel Box Book, A Definitive Guide to American Art Metal Jewelry Boxes by Joanne Victoria Wertella, I think is how you would say that. And she is a collector, a longtime collector of these beautiful jewelry caskets. And this book is packed full of information about how they were manufactured, um, the different motifs that you'll see on them. Um, it even has a section on the language of flowers. If you wanna go, if you were, were to want to go through and look at that and figure out what each of your boxes meant if you collect them. But it's a really good book if you collect or are interested in collecting jewelry caskets. And I don't know if it's still in print, guys. I bought this book used. I think I found it on either Amazon or eBay turn it over so you guys can see the back of it. And it's just loaded with really beautiful um, illustrations. Whether you collect or not, it's a beautiful book to own. Um, it has lots and lots of pictures showing you um, many, many different styles. Look at that one, isn't that gorgeous? So if you are interested in collecting these, um, I would highly, highly recommend this book. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little show and tell video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for not notifications of more videos. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below. 
Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.